Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We back with the top five builds for NBA 2K20 after patch nine, but I could not do this video alone. I had to bring over Ronchi in the building. Hey Ronchi, say what's up to him. Yeah, what's poppin'? So listen, Ronchi's toxic. I'm just gonna put that all the way out there. Yeah. What? Okay. He be playing on a 1v1 court. Let's just get that out the way. Right, um, right. He also plays with randoms on a twos court. Right, right. How much more toxic can it get? The bills that we're going to be talking about, the top five bills for NBA 2K20, are after patch nine. So if you're watching this video, you may have gotten the game for Christmas, for the new year. This video is perfect for you. If you've had the game since September and you still can't get your build right, delete the whole game, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. We can't help you. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling, phone and Yo, what's good, y'all? Before we hop into this video, I want to let you guys know the merch is out right now. The new Send Invite shirts is out. Go cop up. The link is in the description. The link is inside the comment section. Make sure when you cop it up, make sure you take a picture, send it to me on the gram, send it to me on Twitter, and I'm going to repost you and everything like that. Appreciate all the support from you guys, man. We're going crazy with the merch. <laughs> oh, by the way, y'all know where this logo is from. The first build that we're going to go into, which is the fifth build on the list, is the glass cleaning lockdown. Okay, so check this out, guys. The reason why I have Oranchi here is not only does he have a lot of the builds on the top five list, is that we both have a somewhat similar type of builds, but in different variation of creation. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and pick your poison, but I'm going to go show, go ahead and show you guys my build first, my glass cleaning lockdown. You guys have already seen a video on this build, so I'm not going to keep you here for long i ended up choosing rim protector takeover for this build simply because i wanted this build to be a power forward build not a center so i believe all centers should be glass cleaners and i also chose the rim protector because when i'm inside the park running against those crazy builds like pain beast and interior force and stuff like that i'll have some type of chance to save myself now let's go ahead and back out i have an 88 wingspan on this build okay 88 remember that as far as the weight i went 285 some people could go lower some people like to max it out i i stayed at 285 and i'm pretty quick on my feet i'm not that bad i have a 60 speed and a 52 acceleration now the height on my build is 611 so if you choose to make it anything else that's on you now as far as the body shape i went with the fine i wanted the actual character to have some type of muscle definition because i literally complained to 2k for years about muscle definition and then when i made my guards i had no muscle definition so i decided why not make a build with that now as far as the attributes go if you haven't been looking at those attributes over to the side something's wrong with you all the attributes that i have is right there for you go ahead and pick your poison now, I'm gonna go ahead and back out so I can show you my physical pie that I chose. This is the physical pie. It should be right above me. Um, also, the scale breakdown that I chose, I chose the shooting and the defensive pie. If you don't choose that pie for this creation, you're not making my build or even Raunchy's build, all right? Now, uh, just to let you guys know, my player handed is right. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is move it over to Raunchy so he can go ahead and show you guys his build. All right. My my wingspan is 86, so I gotta show the wingspan and Carter does, but but I make up for that because I made my dude 7'1. You know what I'm saying? I snag over any any and everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I got max weight so I can get that interior defense all the way up. The only thing that, that you draw back from max weight is uh lateral quickness and driver dunk. And I made my define now. If I were to do this again, I would put spot up shooter and I'll make my dude burly because it might be placebo. But I feel like if you burly, you said big bodies, you know what I'm saying? Can you I just say be... one thing? You wanted what? your player to be so thick. What? My bad. My bad. Anyway, y'all y'all see the attributes, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the badges. The badges go crazy. This build is such a W, but I don't use it because, you know what I'm saying? It's the reason why I said number five, you know what I'm saying? This is the physical pie I went with. I feel like I should have just said forget the vertical. It just went max speed, but... That's probably, that's probably something I would change as well. And obviously I got this, uh, the shooting and defending pie. That's the only way you're gonna make this uh, glass thing lock that can really shoot. All right, now you guys have seen it. The fifth build on the list 
For top five builds in NBA 2K20 after patch nine is the glass cannon and lockdown that can shoot. Now, moving on to the fourth build on the list. All right, guys, so check it out. The number four build or builds, I should say, on this list will be the offensive threat in the scoring machine. Now, in I guess the last month or month and a half, um, I believe it was annoying was one of the people who created this build, correct? No, this is no. this is BP's build. This is BP build. Mm. That's who that's who made this build. He's the My one who mistake. he's the first one who made it and he's the one who popularized it. Okay, so BP, shout out to you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say my build a little bit better. But you know what? <laughs> hey. That's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? You see my chains, I'm shining. Scoring machine slash offensive threat, the reason why I say both of these builds are at number four is because they are super, super similar. Literally, the only thing that changes the name of this build is a small fraction of attributes, okay? So, what we both chose on these builds are slashing takeovers. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my wingspan. I went with 78.9. If you want to create a scoring machine, look at my build. If you want to create an offensive threat, look at Raunchy's build. Our builds will differ, I believe, in the amount of badges. I believe in like maybe three or four different changes and attributes, but nothing too serious. And you can go ahead and mix and match. Now, as far as weight went, I went 175 pounds. You know what I'm saying? I'm light. It ain't, it ain't my fault. I did go with the height of 6'5", you know what I mean? And also, the body shape I chose again was defined. This was after I made my Playmaker Shot Creator. I decided, you know what? I want to be cut. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, I am a superstar too. I take my shirt off sometimes. I ain't got no tats because I'm broke and cheap, but it's okay. Now, if you haven't been looking at my attributes for the last, like, 30 seconds, you might want to take a check at my attributes right behind me right now. If you don't have these attributes set up, you're not going to make my scoring machine, okay? We'll look at Raunchy's offensive threat soon. Also, check out the physicals. We're going to go ahead and back out of the physicals. Oh, just to let you know, badge upgrades. All the badge upgrades that I have is for my scoring machine. So I have 15 finishing, 21 shooting, 12 playmaking, and 8 defensive and rebounding badge upgrades. Now, let's go ahead and back out to my physical profile i picked the agility and vertical pie the reason why i picked that pie is because i felt like i didn't need much strength i still will catch contact dunks as i get to 99 but i feel like agility and speed is really needed for this build because i want to speed boost with this build at 97 overall uh skill breakdown if you want to make a scoring machine or an offensive threat you have to pick the slashing and shooting pie I don't know if there's any other variations of this build where they can, people can somehow have the same stat breakdowns as we have with the amount of badges and everything. But I'm telling you, if you pick defensive and shooting, you'll have the best of both worlds because somehow shooting somehow triggers and says you can have a little bit of playmaking and slashing says hey he's athletic enough to have a little bit more defense all right now backing out again i went right handed with this build and i'll go ahead and move you guys over to raunchy so he can show you his offensive threat so y'all already heard we both play slash to take over uh there was a video i watched that showed why slash to take over is one of the better takeovers in the game honestly if i were to pick i might have went spot up shooter just because i shoot the ball a lot I think me and him got the same wingspan, but the reason mine looks different is because I went an inch shorter. So mine's a 78.8, 175 minimum um, minimum weight. I went 6'4". I didn't really see the need to be 6'5", honestly. 6'4", we, we end up speed boosting at the same overall. Now I, I went to find, I should have went slight. Why do we, listen, if you a guard, always pick slight, in my opinion. I feel like no matter what, if you're a guard, you always pick slight. If you're a big, you either pick the, uh, I don't know if it's defined or compact, which one, but, or that or burly. And these are my attributes. Um, my badge upgrades is 15, 21, 13, and 8. I've seen, I think it was Annoying who made 15, 21, 14, and 8. Somehow he was able to get one more playmaking badge than me. If you really want to min-max this build, you can, you can um, mess around with the attributes. Let me scoot over so y'all can see. Uh... Don't look at my green screen. Don't. You can min max this build to get um, the max amount of badge. I didn't, I was in a rush when I made it. So we both had the same uh, skill breakdown, the shooting and slashing pie. This is my main guard build. This is what I use all the time. I used to use my slashing, um, my playmaker slasher, but I feel like, I feel like if I would've made my playmaker slasher better, I probably wouldn't be using this build, but I like the fact that I get Hall of Fame shooting 
Hall of Fame slash you know All right, guys, you heard it here first. So that's the number four build slash builds on the list. Uh, we've went over the glass cannon lockdown that can shoot at number five. We've went over the scoring machine and offensive threat at number four. Now we're gonna go ahead and move you guys back over to Raunchy for the number three build on the list. And that is the rebounding wing. All right, now the rebounding wing is one of those builds that literally brought small forwards back to the fold um i just believe that a lot of people when they were making three level scores they were trying to make um pure slashers and stuff like that people were just so upset at not having it all you know what i mean we had people like kevin durant lebron james in the league and every time somebody created a small forward not only were they slow they were either slow or they were either lacking in an attribute and badge type uh, progression. But I feel like the rebound and wing actually brought all of that to the full. Some people call it more of a Giannis type build where you could defend, you can slash, you can shoot somewhat. I've seen Runchy Green plenty, you know what I mean? And with a couple glitches and stuff that was out there, they were speed boosting. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. First of all, if you're gonna make this build, I just wanna let you know, you better know how to shoot. I obviously want, I want the lockdown takeover because I want to be a lockdown defender. I, I went max wingspan. See, my, my three, my three is decent. But I feel like when you get in the, in the mid set, like in the uh, the high 60s, low 70s, when they come to three, you really have to know your jump shot because that's what's gonna carry, because your attributes won't carry you. I know that there's some there's some people who can only shoot when they threes in the high 90s. Oh, I didn't go minimum wing, uh minimum weight. I wonder why. Oh, that strength. I see why. I didn't get the little strength. I went six eight, uh, one from the max. I didn't want my shooting to drop that drastically. I feel like there wasn't too much of a boost I would get from going six nine, so I ended up going six eight. Again, I went to find. Now for this build, I don't know if I should have went slight or burly, but I went to find for this one. I feel like it's decent. See, like I feel like I could have did this. I could have made this build so much better than what it is. In my opinion, I probably would have dropped all my playmaking, and maybe would have went more into slashes, so I can maybe get look a couple slashing badges or something. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not saying my build is anywhere near perfect. I'm just letting you know that these are some good builds to start out with, and when you when you get in the lab, you could probably fix them up, make them. Uh, custom to however you play. I wanted them um, to be as fast as possible. So I went with the speed and acceleration fly. Didn't worry too much about vert. I feel like if I, maybe I, I should have went vert. I could just jump over all the taller bays if I wanted to play, like if I'm playing the twos, I could probably jump over somebody, you know what I'm saying? And I went with the um, the defending and shooting pie. Hey, the way I feel about the build, it's definitely number three on the list for me. Um, I'm actually, testing out the number one build right now so don't worry about the screen that you're looking at let's go back to raunchy with the number two build on the list and that is the playmaking glass cleaner at the number two spot and i'm gonna say why it's number two is because it can speed boost at 99 overall raunchy take it away man okay so this is the build i've been this is the, my latest build that i've been grinding i obviously want the playmaker takeover because if y'all didn't know this is a big that can speed boost. I haven't been able to get to 99 yet. I'm still only at 92. I'm trying to get there. But I just know when I get this build to 99. I've been bringing this build out. Like, it's not complete at all. But I'm still able to compete. And like he was saying before, on the 1v1 court, I was competing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I went one uh, above the minimum wingspan. I didn't. I really felt like I, I really didn't want this build to have a minimum wingspan. I didn't want to feel like I couldn't get a board. I still want to play as a big. It's a big that can do everything a guard can do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I went, I didn't go max, um, max weight. I feel like, I think if I remember correctly, if you go max, it changes your name. I think I only did this for the name. I'm a 6'8 power forward. This is a power forward build. So I'm a small power forward, but there's a reason why I'm a small power forward because I can supplement at the guard position. And if you 6'8 at the guard with really good defense, like it makes up for the fact that I'm short. You can play this um, build at the five, in terms of threes, I wouldn't go into the wreck with this. You would get snagged over. But if you go into the uh, into threes, you can play this at the five and do well as long as you know about positioning in terms of rebound. You know what I'm saying? Like all my other builds that should have been burly should have been burly. I actually went burly with this build. I would suggest you put brick wall on, on silver, but right now I don't have the badges to do so. So I burly is kind of carrying that weight for me. And these are my attribute upgrades. To get this build, like the reason that this build is so special is because the speed boost you see here. You don't automatically need an 86 ball control. You know what I'm saying? If if your if your playmaker is a certain stat and your speed is a certain stat, they supplement each other. 
it's like a combined stat that allows you to speed boost that's why if this build at 99 off rip you can speed boost or when you do one good thing in the game you can speed boost either way when you activate that playmaker takeover it's over i didn't i didn't I didn't drop more people with this build than I did with any of my playmaker build. I went with the maximum speed pop. Like I was saying, you need speed to supplement the low ball control that you have. And this is the playmaking and defensive pie. This one right here, second from the bottom. This build is excellent. I'm telling you, I'm I'm, a, I'm vouching for it. Mm. And that's number two on the list. Facts. So I'm wondering what's number one. Now, if you guys caught a small glimpse of what I was uh, creating earlier, uh, basically now I'm on a screen where I can't show you guys anything, but the number one build on the list for the top five builds after patch nine and NBA 2K20 is gonna have to be the two-way slashing playmaker. Now, this was a build that came out, what? About two and a half, three months ago, I believe. I believe so. And it just started taking the park by storm. It started taking any up by storm. Um, we don't see it in a wreck too much, but what I feel like if it did make its way to the wreck, it'll be a problem as well. But I feel like the reason why this build hasn't been popularized, whereas that we see it everywhere as far as like wreck pro-am across the board is because some people feel like it's doing too much and they want more playmaking at the one. But what they don't realize is when you pick the playmaking and defending pie, you get what you get. So let's go ahead and uh, start creating this build right now. Ronchi, what I would do is if I were you, I would go ahead and start creating and me and you are just gonna bounce off each other. I'll go ahead and try to create this build at the shooting guard position and you try to recreate it at the, uh, the point guard position. Now the pie that you're gonna wanna choose for this is the playmaking and the defending pie, okay? Now nice, I know nice. that we're talking about where's where does the slashing come in at? It comes in there because like I told you guys, you know how defense is tied to the finishing uh, badge or pie, how I was able to make my scoring machine have a couple more badges in defending. Defending does the same thing for finishing. We don't know why it's like this, but it's like this, okay? My physical profile that I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna pick the one that makes him the fastest. And the reason for this is that he gives a 95 speed, 93 acceleration, and an 80 vertical. Some people will probably pick the uh 90 what is it 91 61 88 and 94 whereas though your acceleration and your speed can go up as you make your guys certain height and your vertical is already maxed out but i'm just gonna go ahead and pick this guy to be the fastest uh you go you i want you to go in your attributes you know what i'm saying i'm gonna let me move over so that right. they can see mine okay. at all times okay and we just gonna we just gonna right. laugh at yours because i know yours ain't gonna be as good as mine you know what i'm saying we're gonna, we gonna bounce off um badge upgrades so okay. you tell me tell, tell me your finishing badge upgrade I got 10. I got 11. All right, let's go shooting. Come on, let's keep going. I got 10. I got 10 of them babies. All right, All right playmaking. I got 20. I got 20. Defense in the Defense. I got 18. I got 20. What the f Obviously, we're gonna go with the slight uh, body type. Slight? Me. I'm solid. Me. I'm kind of right, solid then. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm slight. I'm gonna be slight too. I ain't even gonna stunt. Since I'm at shooting guard, I mean, I mean, I might as well stay six five, right? I'm, I'm gonna go six four. My bills, I'm a, my bills have excelled at six four. I lose block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound if I go six four, but I do become a little faster. I get 94 acceleration, 95 speed, 81 vertical. Mine's 95, 95, 81 at six four. No, 6 95, 4. 95, 82. What it's looking like is if you want to make a two way slashing playmaker, X nay on a shooting guard a. Do not make this build at shooting guard. I'm gonna go ahead and pick 6'4", I guess. Why not? Wait, what are you making it? Minimum? Minimum. Get that ladder quickness out of the way. I don't need a tier of defense. And uh, get that bird ladder up. Quick, ladder quickness went up to 86? Yep. All right. Bird um, went up to 84. What's your speed and your acceleration? 95, 95. And vertical 84? Yep. Strength 53? Yep. All right. Yeah, guys, make this build at point guard. Um, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing this video this way because we get to actually look at Ronchi's screen as he's doing his, and then we can just go from there. Um, wingspan, I feel like we should go minimum, right? Since we want to since we wanna nah, get you a 3 you got to remember, we, we, we a defensive build. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess keeping it keeping it the same would probably be better. This is just my opinion. Y'all might have different opinions on this, but in my opinion, I feel like this is the best. All right, and of course, it's the lockdown defender uh takeover correct i don't it depends on how you want to play it if you just if i feel like mm. if you're gonna be running the o with this build this would be a good shooting guard build but you shouldn't make it at the shooting guard position 
I would probably give it a lockdown uh, takeover. So after creating it at a shooting guard position, I got two-way slashing playmaker by picking the lockdown uh, takeover. And I also have a two-way slashing playmaker. Who are you similar to? Um, I'm similar to Victor Aladipo, Kobe Bryant, and Jimmy Butler. I am similar to Baron Davis, John Wall, and Russell Westbrook. If you want to make this build a demon, you will want to choose a lock takeover. If you want to make this dude flashy and outrageous, I would make I would take the playmaking takeover just because you'll make people fall a lot more. If you want to be one of those players that try to finish on folk, I, I will go ahead and pick the finish and takeover. So like if you want to be one of those people that's just want to like want to get animations just for dunking on people you can go ahead and click the slash and takeover but what i'm what i want to tell you guys about this build at number one it don't matter what takeover you choose this build gets contact dunks this build can speed boost this build can defend all right so it really the slash and takeover is really not even needed so what i would choose is i would choose to be a playmaker or choose to be a defender. Defender means you're gonna be much more of a demon. You won't have to worry about telling your shooting guard or your um, small forward to switch and guard the point guard in the wreck. You know what I mean? You could just be that demon by your lonesome. So check it, chat. This is what I would do, man. I would put contact finisher up, relentless finisher up, and slithery finisher all the way up. And I would put fancy footwork on, or you can go with lob city finisher. Um, I believe that lob city finisher will help you more in the park it ain't really gonna help you in a wreck like that because most people don't throw lobs unless you're on a fast break, so you really don't need it. You could even go acrobat with this. You know what I mean? Acrobat on silver if you want. But me, I like the hop steps now for whatever reason. I'm just a hop step fiend. So I'm gonna go with fancy footwork. Shooting badges, you already know, man. You're gonna have to go with quick draw. You're gonna have to go with range extender. And honestly, you ain't gonna have no hot zones when you first create this build. Just go ahead and get yourself green machine. You know what I'm saying? Just put that on gold. And what I would do is I'll put dead eye on because most people will be running at you or in the vicinity. I wouldn't put high zone hunter on bronze. I feel like high zone hunter on bronze really not worth it. Just hit your shots. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know your jump shot like what you was telling you. Playmaking, this is where it get. It gets so crazy because you could really be that facilitator. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think this is the setup that I would have, guys. Floor General Hall of Fame, Dimer Handles for Days, Quick First Step, and Space Creator all on gold. Unpluckable and bailout on bronze just because you might need it and tight handles on silver all right and defensive badges of of course this is a guard so uh you want to go with interceptor um intimidator chase down um was it rim protector uh, yo you could really put clamps on hall of fame oh my goodness bro yeah all right so maybe maybe off ball pass or interceptor maybe for yeah. silver and that and that right there that looks like it all right guys so check it out man i want to thank everybody for coming through to this video if you guys want to see any of our builds in action raunchy streams on twitch and i stream on facebook links will be in the comment section in the description below make sure you guys smash that like button for the top five builds in nba 2k20 after patch nine i'm about to get up out of here i'm about to go ahead and go stream on facebook right now raunchy what you about to do man i don't know man i'm about to enjoy this heart attack burger you know what i'm saying yo Shout out to our keto people out there in the world, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, man. See y'all in the next one. Peace.